To my fellow young people, I would like to tell you that no matter what, just have faith. Know that you can do it. I can, we can. A lot of people across the world, they are youths and they are doing a lot. Africans can do the same thing. Let us have the faith and bring Africa, grow Africa together. One Africa, one love. Let's make Africa the best and stop dreaming about going to Bagway or other stuff. Gambia Sinure, Gambia Munne and Kodef, Nempo Kunigan, you go good. They can be no come on, Munne and Kadigan, they can back me. Hello, how are you? My name is Apsa and uh, I'm a student but I work as a banker as well okay. and uh, I normally don't go out usually but I came out today to have fun and the air is so good and it's great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like Look it out here. the fact that Gambia is very hot too. The air is very important. Yeah, Gambia is hot but <coughs> that is why it's, it's, it's called summer. It's summer so it's supposed to be hot so... All it's right. it's it's really cool when it's hot outside, so you can get the breeze from the beach. It's re it's usually nice. Mm. Yeah. But how do you uh, think? Um, like, what's the volume of people who should be in here? You know, on say seasons like this. Um, usually during the summer, students are out. Most of the students are um, the schools are closed, and a lot of kids are outside. And people go out with their friends. People go out with their families. So the beaches are normally full during the summer, compared to when it's just the normal seasons. So I think it's the volumes are always high yeah. during seasons like this. Yeah. Let, let me talk to you. So, so what's your name <laughs> and uh, tell us about you. Okay, Where hello. Good afternoon, sir. I am Hadinjai, <laughs> an entrepreneur. I sell different kinds of fabrics, including African wax, gasnas, etc. We sell high quality fabrics. And also I'm a student at American International University, majoring Human Resource Management, and also a student at SOS, majoring Social Work. Yeah. So what do you do at Social Work? At Social Work, it serves as a guardian to human beings. Like, we, we do advise people, advocate for people, their rights, and also, like, we do counseling, every th therapy, yeah. Well, it's the summer season, and people are yeah. coming into the beach. Um, how do you guys enjoy this beautiful nature that God has blessed Gambia with? Yeah, mashallah. Um, the beach, we enjoy the fresh air. Actually, the beach is a place where we reduce, most of the people we reduce their stresses. <laughs> and yeah, you understand? That's right, you come here to reduce your stress. Yeah. yeah. It's a stress reducing place. Yeah, and also, okay, Doc Namas. <laughs> and also to enjoy no, with their families, have fun, yeah. It's a cool place. So how do you guys do without... And also, we also network with you today at the beach. Right. It's an opportunity to, for us today too. Yeah. What happens when, I mean, you are in a place where there is no beach? How will you people function? I definitely cannot, cannot feature cannot a life function. without a beach. Like, we, we, we usually go to the beach most of the time. Yeah, it will be a bit boring. Life was and going like, to be... Yeah, it will be very hot. The, like, it will affect the climate. Yeah. Climate change will occur. That's great. Yeah. What are the things that you feel um, the government can do to better the, you know, the, the, the beach, infrastructure around the beach, and things that can make people want to go to the beach more? Like you said, it's a stress yeah. reliever. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's different when you just come to see it. But there are other activities that you can engage yourself in. What, what do you, let, me, let me start with you. What do you think can be done? Yeah, um, I think government should actually um, involve itself more when it comes to the beaches. They should. They should improve on a lot of infrastructural buildings, like building more hotels. Even, even if the government is not doing it, they should be giving um, um, 
opportunities to young entrepreneurs that are doing but they don't have the capacity maybe by helping them by giving them grants loans for them to have um, more infrastructural buildings around, around the beach i mean it's it's very good for them it's going to help them help them with um, how they're actually going to make more money because the beaches are very good normally during the tourist tourist season whether the tourists are here or they are not here the people that live in the in the country they're actually always using the places around so I think um, if government gives more opportunities to um, young entrepreneurs that are actually trying to 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 get to higher heights when they're not there yet, by helping them, giving them grants and loans, I think it's going to help them. Well, they can you, improve you more. Yeah. Yeah, but I would like to add some. Like the like they should, the government should build a playing ground for the kids. Like because the hotels are a bit expensive, most people can't afford it. But once they build playing grounds, gyms, areas around the beach, it will help youths. Because nowadays, most of the youths do drown inside the beach. Yeah, but if they have an area where they normally play, they might have no interest inside the water. Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess they should be playing areas around the beach, many things, yeah, so that the kids can enjoy and everyone can enjoy, everyone can benefit mm -hmm. the beach, yeah. Well, just before I let you ladies go, mm -hmm. this is the beach. Yeah. Down there is endless, and mm -hmm. most people, Young people like you get into the boat and sail down to where they call the Canary Islands, mm -hmm. Lampedusa, Italy, Spain, Portugal. You know, I'm talking about irregular migration. Mm. Let me start with you. What do you think about it? How can we discourage young people from such um, deadly adventure? Yeah, that's that's where I go back to the government. I think we need a lot of. Um, developments that are actually uh, we need in the country so it could discourage these young people from going to illegal migration I mean if we have two or three um, um, industrial areas or processing areas that, that we, we have a lot of raw materials in Gambia look at the mango season when we have the mango season a lot of mangoes are spoiled here when we have the vegetable season to see the vegetables how they're, dis they're destroyed in the country so if the government can actually help and improve more on this industrial um, areas and build more 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 processing industries i think it will actually encourage these young people if they have jobs i don't think they will see reasons why they will be going on illegal, the, this illegal migration so so i think if these things are actually facilitated in the country mm -hmm. if the government helps with that i don't think any youth will be going for that illegal migration well, you are an entrepreneur yeah have you been able to talk to young people like you to also get into small businesses instead of thinking of you know, um, making that adventure through the sea. Yeah, I did. I always talk to them. But like most of them say the Gambia is hard. That's the belief that they have. But I think the government and people, the government, yeah, and other peoples should help them remove that belief inside their, themselves. Yeah, by so by making a proof. But like once going out, making some meetings and other stuff, we don't, we don't help. Even the grant cards that they, they, they normally, the grants that they normally give to the Gambians, they are not enough. And most of the grants are given by NGOs like IOM, etc. The government isn't doing any help. I think everything should be started at the government. They should help us. Yeah. Do you, do you think also uh, maybe um, community effort in terms of um, awareness creation uh, by? Indigents, those in the provinces, in the district, talking to young people, don't go this path, get into entrepreneurship, there are things you can do. I, I, have there been thoughts uh, like that? Yeah, they have been doing it. But I think one thing for sure that I understood, like the government itself should put some impact into it, like to help the people. You can be, keep on talking. Talking must go with something. Yeah. Like for instance, if you talk, at least give them something. Open a company whereby they can be working. Like for instance, they can like they can say each youth must try and create something because I believe everyone is created, creative. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like each youth should try and create something. If you, if you see that you, you have the creativity inside you, then they can help you and guide you through. They should serve as the guardians. I don't believe in civilization. You must go with something. You should serve as a guardian to guide the youths. Yeah. Adding on what 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 yeah. is, what she said, I think she is right about that. Sensitizing the youth about don't go to don't go to the back way, don't do illegal migration. It's not going to help them. You know how hard is it, it is waking up in the morning. You don't have money to feed yourself. It's hard. So telling that individual that, hey, 
you need to stop illegal migration you cannot go through the back way it's risky nothing is going to hold that person from going because you know waking up in the morning you don't have breakfast your your mom or your dad is asking you for money for a grown-up for somebody that is at least 20 or 25 years and if you can't provide anything it's hard for people like that so sensitizing them is, is definitely not going to help it wouldn't help at all instead of just communicating or um, oh, oh, sorry about that. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Doing this awareness, calling the youth, yeah. and then putting them in groups and telling them you guys should not go on illegal migration is literally not the thing. Putting it into action is what is going to help them. So I don't, I don't think like giving them and this grant that would be help. If you yeah. like, if you don't give them grant, don't train them to have skills. Yeah. Exactly. And get them into something. Yeah. I mean, you can't give somebody money and just tell the person go and do a go business. Go and get the them to something. doesn't know how to do a business. You you teach them on how to do a business. Well, just before we round up this conversation, I, I wanted to um, let me start with you. You're going to look at the camera, mm -hmm. and I wanted to send a message to young people. I wanted to talk to them mm -hmm. that they can actually become what they really want to become here in the Gambia. They don't need to think of you know, hitting the sea and trying to get to Canary Island, Port of Spain, mm -hmm. and the rest of them. Mm -hmm. So your message to West Africans and indeed the global community mm -hmm. that are watching this, you can look at the camera and send that message. Yes, um, for the young people out there that are watching me, I'd actually like to say um, life is so hard, especially if you're in a country that's actually not, not really surviving. I mean, you can wake up early in the morning and say, wow, life is so hard. I think I, I, should, I should just try and go to another place and try to make it um, there. That's not the thing. When I graduated from school, I actually thought life was, that was where life was going to end. So all I, all I actually was thinking about was to leave this country. I was like, nah, I have to leave this country. In my local language, you say, nah, fuck you, gain, I take it. If I don't leave this country, I'll not make it here. So I think, I believe uh, you can make it anywhere, anywhere you are. If you have the belief, the determination, the courage, and everything is what you need. So I believe every young people out there, whether in Gambia or in, in West Africa or any other country, I believe you can make it where, where you are. If you believe in yourself, you believe that if I start this, I can do it, you can help yourself. You don't need, need anybody's help, the government's help, or making it through the sea. So I'm actually discouraging any young people that wants to use the bad way. I'm not saying people should stop doing it but it's, it's not encouraging at all so I'm actually advising the young people to look for other means to enrich themselves instead of using the bag way or trying to say okay the government is not helping the government is not doing this you can always enrich yourself you just have to be skillful thank you how about you look at the camera and send your message to them to my fellow young people I would like to tell you that no matter what just have faith know that you can do it I can we can a lot of people across the world they are youths and they are doing a lot. Africans can do the same thing. Let us have the faith and building Africa, grow Africa together. One Africa, one love. Let's make Africa the best and stop dreaming about going to back way or other stuff. Gambia Senure, Gambia Munen Kodef, Nemboku Nuligan, you go good. They can be no come home, Bundigan, they can be back way.